Which is better, Cancun or Riviera Maya for your all-inclusive resort vacation? When I say Cancun, I'm talking about the Cancun Hotel Zone. That's this little peninsula just that's slightly off the coast of Cancun, very close to the Cancun Airport, which has a long, beautiful beach. You have to be really careful when you're looking for a Cancun hotel because a lot of hotels have Cancun in the name even though they're not technically in the hotel zone. For instance, Royalton Riviera Cancun. You can see where this hotel is located compared to other hotels that are in the hotel zone. So the pros of Cancun are the beach. It has an absolutely incredible beach, white sand, it's long, it's walkable. Now there are certain hotels at the top or the bottom of the hotel zone that won't have as long as a beach. So for instance, the Hyatt Ziva Cancun is located at the very tippy top and this has two cove beaches. Now this is great because the water is very calm, but you won't have that long walkable beach. So that leads me to one of the negatives of staying in the Cancun hotel zone. Notice how I emphasize that the Hyatt Ziva's beach is calm. Well, the rest of the hotel zone does tend to get red flagged, meaning the lifeguards will hang up a red flag, meaning that it might be unsafe to go into the water because of strong currents. This is a bummer for those of you who love to do water activities like kayaking or paddle boarding. The red flag days will prohibit the resorts from putting those included non-motorized sports into the water. So if you're a person who really wants to kayak or spend your time on a stand-up paddleboard, the Cancun Hotel Zone may not be the best choice for you. One pro of the beach is that it tends not to get as much seaweed. Seaweed has been an issue across the Caribbean for the past few years. Now, historically, it's tended to align with hurricane season between June and November, but the last few years, it's been creeping up into April and March, even February, where lots of seaweed watches, washes up on the beach. Now, this is totally uncontrollable. It's just mother nature, but some of the Gulf of Mexico beaches get more seaweed than others, and the hotel zone tends to have a little bit less than other areas. Another pro of staying in the Cancun hotel zone is you have access to all types of shopping and restaurants and nightclubs. So if you're a person who likes to get outside of the resort and wants some place where you can go do some maybe luxury shopping, you really enjoy checking out local souvenirs, maybe you want to try a local restaurant, it's going to be very easy in the hotel zone because there's tons of options all up and down the strip. It is a very compact strip, so that is a pro, but that does mean your hotels are going to be very close together and they're going to be high-rise hotels. So it won't have that tropical jungle feel you may get at the hotels in Riviera Maya. So that leads us to Riviera Maya. So Riviera Maya is huge. It covers this entire area, basically from south of Cancun all the way down to Tulum. It has tons of all-inclusive resorts. The areas are all just slightly a little bit different from you, from Puerto Morales, which is a small fishing village, to the beautiful beaches around Moroma, to the ruins that are down in Tulum. You have a ton of different options for activities and adventures. Now, this is one of the pros of Riviera Maya. So if you're going to be taking a lot of shore excursions, you want to go to the cenotes, which are these under underground watering holes, which are absolutely incredible, or you want to see the Mayan ruins, staying in Riviera Maya is going to be a better headquarter because you're going to be closer to those activities. Now, it does mean you're going to be a little bit farther from the airport, depending on where you stay. The other pro of Riviera Maya is the resorts are much bigger. They're sprawling. They're spread out. You get more of that tropical feel versus those compact high rises in the Cancun hotel zone. Because the resorts in Riviera Maya are bigger, they're going to have more amenities. You're going to find huge pools. For instance, Valentin Imperial's pool is one of the largest in Mexico. You'll also find water slides or even a in the jungle obstacle course like they have at Hard Rock Riviera Maya. So one of the big cons you may hear about Riviera Maya is the beaches. Some of the beaches in this area are heavily eroded because there is a strong current pounding against that beach. So for instance, the areas around Puerto Morales, these resorts are not going to have the white sand, the wide beaches. The beaches are going to be much smaller, heavily eroded, tend to be a little bit rockier. So that's something to keep in mind if you're a beach person. You're going to want to choose the Riviera Maya resorts that are closer to Playa Maroma or down near the Tulum area. Those beaches tend to have more white sand, 
less rocky and less current. So you'll have a better chance to be able to do those kayaking and paddle boarding activities. And also you'll have a slightly less chance for seaweed. The Riviera Maya beaches in general tend to get a bit more seaweed than the Cancun hotel zone. But again, it's impossible to predict and changes wildly from day to day, hour to hour and year to year. So those are the big differences between Cancun and Riviera Maya. So what would you pick? Are you more of a Cancun person, more of a Riviera Maya person, and why? Please let me know in the comments. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and here's another one YouTube thought you might like.